This is Fairburn Tower. Welcome to Helen's Uncovered. Join us as we take a roller coaster journey with this 16th century tower house, from its birth as a defensive Mackenzie stronghold to an abandoned ruin before its amazing resurrection from the ashes into a stunning guest home to be enjoyed for years to come. There's also a slice of shocking scandal sandwiched somewhere between. It's time to put on our 16th century shoes to walk with the creator of this inspiring tower. Murdo Mackenzie was the grandson of Kenneth Mackenzie, 7th of Kintail, chief of the clan Mackenzie in the 15th century. Unfortunately, Murdo was portrait shy, i.e. we couldn't find a painting of him, so to help your imagination along, here is a picture of a Highlander with Stug's head plopped in the top. Picture this, a 16th century wrestling match attended by the King of Scotland, James V, that featured Murdo's father. Rory Moore Mackenzie is one of the wrestlers. King James was so impressed with Rory's fighting skills, an invite was extended for Murdo to join the royal household as a groom to the king. During Murdo's time with James, a budding bromance developed. Murdo and James became close friends, with Murdo joining the king on many of his official engagements. On the 1st of April 1542, James gifted his friend Murdo the lands of Fairburn, with instructions to build a house with orchards and garden. The area was rife with clan lawlessness, so Murdo focused on building a four-floor defensive structure, placing the main entrance on the first floor and constructing a vaulted basement with gunport. He proceeded to install more gunports on the stairs and upper floors, a sure sign of how unruly the area must have been at the time. Murdo must have been very much aware of the battles of his grandfather with the clan Macdonald in the area only 63 years prior and worried that history could repeat itself. With all this focus and defence, some may say Murdo was a paranoid man and if the gossip machine was correct then he may have had very good reason to be. If a scandal on a grand scale had become public knowledge then Murdo may have found himself in very deep water. Archaeology has shown that there was a cobbled courtyard around the tower with bothies and buyers enclosed within a surrounding wall. It seems the only way was up for Murdo. He married Maria Bell Urquhart, daughter of the Sheriff of Cromarty, and had seven children. His fortunes were enhanced further when later Mary Queen of Scots granted him more land in the area, raising his status and wealth all the more. Why did Mary Queen of Scots do that, you might ask? There are some that say gossip and rumours are merely born from Chinese whispers and cannot be trusted. However, we definitely feel this particular piece of 16th century scandal could very well have merit. Take it back a step to when our two best friends Murdo and James were doing what most best friends of the male variety did in the 16th century, drinking as much wine as was feasible and generally having a good time. James was married to Mary of Guise and like a script straight out of a British soap opera, Mary was growing frustrated with the absence and neglect from her husband. Not entirely his fault of course. He's a busy man taking care of king business. A letter arrives from Mary asking James, yet again, to make time for his wife. James, tired of her constant letters, asks his good friend Murdo to please go and keep the queen company until he can get away from all his pesky royal business. Fast forward a few months and the country celebrates the birth of a healthy baby girl, Scotland's much loved Mary Queen of Scots. I think you have the idea. Yes, Rumours were abound that we Mary was not the daughter of James V, but was in fact the daughter of our Murdo, Mackenzie of Fairburn. Can you see any similarities? Let us know in the comments below. Since Mary went on to become the Queen of Scots that we all know and love, and Murdo never actually had to use his defences at Fairburn, we can presume the rumours stayed just that, mere gossip to be discussed in dark corners as a matter of giggling titillation. Did Mary herself hear the rumours? Was this the reason for her thinking so fondly of Murdo and gifting him more land? That is something we at Highlands Uncovered will leave for you to decide. Thanks to Murdo's success in gaining status and land, the family seemed set in their fortunes and Fairburn Tower was enhanced in the 17th century with the stair tower and the fifth floor which we see today. In 1715, when James Stewart, the old pretender, raised the standard of the Jacobite Rebellion, the Mackenzies backed him. Sadly, this was to end in defeat, with Fairburn Tower receiving damage 
in the conflict. Roderick Mackenzie sued for a royal pardon in 1724 and Fairburn was repaired. It was about this time a dining hall was added to the side of the tower. When Bonnie Prince Charlie began his rebellion under the Jacobite flag in 1745, Alexander Mackenzie was cautious, refusing to become involved, stating, A grazier or farmer is all I pretend to be. By now, the estate was in decline, the dining hall was transformed into two crofter cottages, and the tower itself was deserted and on its slippery slope into a ruin. The crofters' cottages slash dining hall were lived in until the 1950s. The grand fireplace of the dining hall stands today with the cooking stove still in place. The tower over time was an empty ruinous shell and at one point, thanks to a strained pregnant cow, was host to the truth of a Brahan seer prophecy, which is featured in our video about the Brahan seer. In 1920, an inland revenue survey labelled Fairburn an old tower, ruinous and of no commercial value. It would appear Fairburn Tower was destined to become another forgotten relic of Scotland's past, with nothing left but a pile of rubble echoing its glorious past. So that seemed to be the end of the line for the Fairburn Tower. However, in 2020, a miracle happened. The Landmark Trust leased the tower and started work in restoring this historic gem. Today it is nearly finished and ready to welcome guests for self-care and holidays. If you enjoyed this video from Highlands Uncovered, why not subscribe and hit the wee bell to be notified of our next video. You can watch our past videos by clicking on one of the videos shown here. Thanks for watching, until the next time.